This is Lynn Fraser. Welcome to Friends with Your Mind, How to Stop Torturing Yourself with Your Thoughts. We're going to work with troubling thoughts primarily. These are thoughts that the nervous system generates to try to help keep us safe. So they are in response to feeling some kind of threat or danger. As we understand why we do what we do and what is the origin of a lot of the thoughts in our mind, we're able to intervene earlier and develop healthier habits healthier strategies for surviving. When we're activated into fight, flight, freeze, or fawn responses, we're able to see them earlier and then come back into emotional regulation. We feel more at home in our body when we're more relaxed and we're friendlier to ourselves and to others. But we have a sense of, I'm okay. I don't need to fix myself. I just need to see what is it that's going on and what are the tools that I can use to come back into regulation, to come back into a feeling of safety, trust, and connection? This quote from Dr. Gabor Mate explains it. Trauma is not what happens to us. Trauma is what happens inside of us as a result of what happens to us. The effect of trauma is that we disconnect from ourselves, our sense of value, and the present moment. Children experience a lack of connection as a survival level threat, which makes sense. We need to be included and protected and cared for. We can't do that on our own. We're all experiencing shock or crisis trauma from COVID-19. And many of us are also experiencing other types of trauma. We might have a lot of habits in the mind that come from developmental trauma. We might be facing a situation of illness, death of someone we love. A lot happens in life and we have a lot to work with. The main focus of this workshop is our thoughts. So where do our thoughts come from? They come from the primitive brain, trying to take care of us, trying to keep us safe. When we feel unsafe or like there's a threat, we're going to go into one of our fight, flight, freeze strategies and recognize it. Oh, I'm in a fight response. Maybe I should regulate my system a little bit so that I don't fly off the handle at somebody or I don't blurt out that thing that I really shouldn't say that's going to get me in trouble or that's going to hurt somebody. Catastrophic compulsive thinking tends to land on core deficiency beliefs as well. So we have the present moment situation and we're worried about something that's going on and we're ruminating about something, but we also have our whole lifetime of experience. So if we've had a lot of trauma from people yelling at us when we were a child, we're going to be more sensitized to that when it happens in the workplace. So it's good to know what our history is, how this all works, so that we can bring ourselves back into this moment. Thought comes in as words that we hear or see and images that we see. We have this highly associative mind. We associate past with the present. And that's one of the ways that our nervous system keeps us safe. It's a good thing. And it also causes us a lot of trouble. What's happening in the body in response to the thoughts? It's not just that we get a train of thought going, it's also that we get sensations, energies, feelings in our body. So these sensations in our body and the thoughts in our mind are only here to protect us. It's here to warn us. So when we have that knowledge, when we know that that's true, then we don't have to get rid of those thoughts. We can use them in our practice. What's happening in my system? What am I alarmed about? And how can I bring myself back into regulation? So nobody minds having thoughts of being on vacation, enjoying ourselves at a beach, or being with someone we love, or all of those kind of warm, nurturing thoughts. The kinds of thoughts that we really want to work with are the thoughts that are troubling. They take us out of the present moment and drag us back into either the past or the future. Catastrophic thinking tends to be very compelling. We just kind of fall right into it. Use these grounding and orienting tools to come back to, well, is that just me catastrophizing and doing this worst case scenario thinking, or is it actually something that I need to work with right now? A lot of the thoughts in the mind, we can just say, no, not helpful, not going there. Our past experience of fear has such a grip on us, but in fact, we're not a child. We're not helpless. We have different kinds of options and knowledge and experience than we had when we were a child. We can build more emotional resilience. We can keep coming back into the present moment, even right now. 
you were to hold your own hand and feel the warmth of your hand, feel your feet on the floor, take a few deep breaths. These kinds of troubling thoughts tend to drag us into the past or into the future. We can also stay here in this present moment through this connection with our body, our energy, our breath, our feelings. This is a taste of what we're going to experience in the workshop together. I hope you can join us.